beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Realm of mastery. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is saying He is bringing the captivity of your family to an end. You see, it will sound like a joke until you hear the testimony. When a Jimmy was sharing here, this is the word of God. It comes straight and it's over. Except the word does not come. When it comes to you, that is the end of it. This is what we came for. That we will encounter his word. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. Challenges are relative. They are relative to the grace that confronts them. Challenges are not general. It depends on the grace that confronts them. That's why God is granting us access. He's granting us illumination. Praise the Lord. Illumination. Illumination. Even by His Spirit. This row, just right here, this row down. I'm seeing two people who are receiving the spirit of revelation. Just this last row down like this. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. The spirit of revelation. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me, two of them. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. And set me upon my feet. And the spirit entered me. And the spirit entered me. If someone praying, let your spirit be alive. You are not only watching, you are receiving. Like Kenny shared, there is a grace to receive. A grace to receive a grace to receive be sensitive gentlemen be sensitive grace to receive grace to receive overflow to overflow to 
the Lord is bringing speed. I'm seeing like an arrow, but this is not evil. This is a grace. A grace. Please bring them overflow too. Someone's hunger is touching the heavens. We'll get to the word shortly. Let's just do justice to what God is doing. God is bringing speed. Overflow too. Particularly overflow too. Speed. No more delay by the Spirit of God. above all names in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names God is taking away limitations he's doing it by his spirit he's taking away limitations he's taking away limitations he's taking away limitations in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah Father, bless our hearts in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. One of the ushers, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, I should tell you, the set time has come. This is one of the ushers, just the ushers. The set time has come. The set time has come. This is a prophetic word for one of the ushers. The set time has come. That's what the Lord is saying. And when God speaks like this, there is a grace that brings and makes for performance. One of our ushers, the Lord is prophesying that your set time has come. Jeremiah chapter 9. Let's get to the word, the glory that excels. Jeremiah chapter 9, we'll start from verse 23. 23. Thus saith the Lord, please pay attention. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Next verse. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. That he understandeth and knoweth me. The Bible starts by listing four categories of people alongside the fact that every of those dimensions carries glory. He starts by saying, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. So there is glory in that level of wisdom. That wisdom there is not divine wisdom, Sophia, human wisdom scientific wisdom wisdom that is a product of exploring life for a long time it says let not please go back 23 let not the wise man 
glory in his wisdom when the bible says to not do something it means that it is possible to do it are we together that means there is a level of glory that the wisdom of this world can bring then he moves to the next level he says neither let the mighty man glory in your might so there is glory in might there are men and women with all kinds of might intellectual might military might and there is a level of glory that you see there number three he says let not the rich man glory in his riches it means there is glory in riches are we together that it is possible for you to be rich and there is a glory there and then he says but let him that glory it so in any case there must be glory but he's only giving you a reference listen carefully he's not saying glory in strength and all of this and he's showing you an excellent dimension that there is glory in the wisdom of men are we together now there is glory in might there is glory in riches however this is the kind and the dimension i want your glory to be a derivative of the fact that you understand and you know me because in understanding and knowing me there is a representation of all these glories you forsake that you ignore the glory that comes with the wisdom of men you ignore the glory that comes with might aside from God you ignore the glory that comes with riches outside of God and then you seek to understand and know him he says there is a glory that is in that experience that is surpassing greater than the glory that comes all of these dimensions of glory they are there but he's showing you that there is a glory that excels there is a glory that excels the wisdom of men there is a glory that excels the might of men there is a glory that excels earthly riches he says that glory is a product of an encounter that you understand and you know me that means that if four of us stand we can both emit levels of glory but i can trace the basis of that glory I can know that your glory comes just from earthly riches your glory comes from Sophia human wisdom your glory comes from the military might but I can look at a man and know that this one this glory is a product of knowing God is it not written in your Bible that the people that do know their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploits the word glory is very important the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth listen carefully in the simplest term the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth a measure of its value a measure of its desirability the more glorious a person and a thing is the more you are desired the more the weight of the value that is placed on you and so imagine with me for instance that all of these dimensions are like gold that you are placing on a scale so you place the glory that comes from earthly wisdom and the scale will measure it you will write it you place the glory that comes with riches and might but then that there is a glory that the scale cannot measure when it comes from knowing God, you drop it is a glory that excels. It's an all-surpassing glory. Please pay attention. I'm building something now. So the Bible begins to contrast. Number one, he says it is important that the saints glory. But it tells you what to glory in. Because hearing is our father glorified when you bear much fruit in your being glorified God is being glorified John 17 Jesus said the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son may give you glory meaning an unglorified saint cannot bring glory to the father the glory of the father is in the glory of the saints are we together now that if there is a dimension of glory the saints do not express 
it will short circuit the understanding of creation about God. Glorify now thy son, that thy son will bring you glory. Add weight to your son, add desirability. Put something within him that the rich outside you cannot have. Put something within him that the wise outside you cannot have. That when you stand on the scale of destiny is a weight that cannot be measured. The glory that excels. Hmm. In Mark chapter 2, Jesus taught a mystery that I want to connect to this very quickly. His mysteries were captured in his parables. And in one of the parables, he teaches us on the mystery of wineskins. Please give us verse 18, Mark chapter 2. There is a glory that excels. And the disciples of John and the Pharisees and you know and they came up to him and said to him why do the disciples of John and of the Pharisees fast oh dear but thy disciples fast not 19 and Jesus said he's replying a question remember that the foundation of this question was the issue of rituals structures systems keep that in mind so he was challenging Jesus's violation of a system this is the basis for this statement there is a methodology there is a way things were done and now they found out that jesus was routing his system he was not conforming to what they were doing and they they were questioning his authority what gave you the audacity to come up with another formula we are used to this this is the ritual but now jesus we see you mentoring your disciples through another route and Jesus is replying can the children of the bridegroom or bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them as long as they have the bridegroom with them they cannot fast 20 but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast in those days 21 he says no man now listen he's buttressing on this point now no man also sowed a piece of new cloth on an old garment else the new piece that filled it up take it away from the old and the rent is made worse are we together now next verse and no man put it new wine into old bottles or an old wine skin why else the new wine dot bust the bottles and the wine is spilled and the the bottles will be mad but the new wine must not may be put in a new wine skin listen very carefully Jesus is teaching them something here very powerful and then he now brings this his parables on the cloth and then more importantly the wine skin he's saying that if you put wine skin i hope you know that the wine skin he now calls old was once new don't forget that what he now calls old was by a reference new and now he's saying that if you are bringing new wine that it is not possible to bring new wine and put it in an old wine skin that the effect it would be better to have left the old wine and the old wine skin that if you try to mix them there will be a reaction and that that reaction will make the condition worse listen carefully there is a reason why revivals never last there is a reason why the move of God comes for a while revival 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 people organize programs and for one or two weeks people feel spiritual they feel connected and one month later everyone has gone back to his ways the reason is because we continue to violate the condition that makes for new wine to be comfortable the focus is never on the new wine he says you attract new wine by doing something to the wine skin you don't ask new wine to come something must happen to the wine skin that automatically attracts new wine listen carefully 
wine skin in scripture is symbolic of structures and systems you have to understand this it's not only just symbolic of a man is symbolic of methodologies and strategies that for every move of God there is a pattern and there is a spiritual formation that can contain it and host it are we together now I shared with you in one of the services how that when it came to killing the Philistines God gave Samson a revelation and he took the dry bone jaw bone of an ass and he killed the philistines with it as soon as he was done he was asked to throw it sometimes you don't throw things because they have stopped working you throw them because they will not be needed again although they are still working the bible never said the old wine skin were already torn it could still contain it but that new wine in an old wine skin cannot last every move of god and every dimension of glory has a spiritual formation that you must assume otherwise the glory will not be comfortable around you and it will be wasted this is what jesus is teaching that anything anything that is new from heaven that is coming the focus is not on what is coming the focus is on the preparation Ejimi shared that scripture powerfully here. When it was time for them to experience the glory of God, there were conditions. He said, sanctify yourself. One day is not enough. Two days is not enough. Three days is not enough. Prepare yourself. And even at that, when they saw the glory they were preparing for, they said, Moses, you go and just talk with God. Whatever he tells you, tell us. We will listen. Most people are not prepared for what they pray for because the glory of God, listen, is one thing to ask and continue to ask. One of the reasons why the glory of God may elude certain people, the weightiness of his presence, it may be that we continue to desire that the new wine comes upon the old wineskin. And God says, my not giving you is an act of my mercy because there will be a reaction when the new wine comes upon the old wine skin that your condition will be worse than you currently are that means it is possible to dish out revelation and a believer's life starts failing from the day he had that revelation it is not only error that destroys there is a dimension of truth you can bring and from the day the believer received it his life begins to go down because the effect of that new wine on his old wine skin creates room for his own destruction this is not a demon this is not satan this is a spiritual reaction jesus is teaching us here so he's giving us a word of caution that if it is true that you need a new wine skin then you must find out the structure when the glory of God was going to rest upon the tabernacle in the Old Testament, at that time the tabernacle was a new wine skin. So Bezalel and Aholiab had to receive from God the blueprint, the kind of tabernacle that can host the glory they were praying for. Are we together now? They were never to be left to decide. God, come, read your Bible. God never comes until a people are prepared by his standards. Not by their desire, not by their cry, not by their hunger. Whenever God wants to come, bringing his anointing, his grace, and all the possibilities contained in him, there will be a requirement. You cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. We're talking about the glory of God here, that there is a glory that excels but I'm showing you the technology by which men transit to rise to superior realms. Every old wine was once a new wine. This is what I want you to know. No old wine starts as old wine. The tabernacle, the law was once new wine. The tabernacle in the wilderness was once new wine. But a day came when God said, I'm connecting this story now. They were used to the new wine. They saw the glory that came with the tabernacle, the Ark of the Covenant. They saw the victories that it brought for them. Now Jesus appears 
and then they are saying Jesus if you are from God you must fit into this structure and he says I agree it was one a new wine skin but now I'm bringing in something do you have the flexibility and the unashamedness to restructure and adjust your vessel and sometimes replace it completely so that you can host the new he was speaking to scribes he was speaking to Pharisees when they saw his miracles and they saw the things that he did they looked at their structure and wondered why those structures did not host that thing I hope you know God was the one who instituted their structure but God had left their structure once upon a time John was the new wine skin that was being used the theology that John brought was the most current dealing of the spirit John was in the wilderness and God was giving him mysteries until then there was nobody who could stand as anything newer than John Jesus himself testified that of all the prophets no matter what they saw nobody read John's dimension of glory but John was wise when Jesus came he said behold the lamb and John said look I know that with respect to this I have become an old wine skin let me decrease that he will increase have you seen that technology I decrease this is the vessel that God is pouring his glory and when you look up to him then you are not ashamed John departed and his disciples were offended because at a point they felt John what are you doing you were shining you were the person at the center stage your entire theology was what we built our lives on and right now you are asking us are you trying to say all you have taught us was error and John was trying to say no I'm only showing you that there is another dimension of glory that has come and my structure cannot hold that glory I was a forerunner now that that glory has come follow that glory amazing that John himself didn't follow the glory and not even him was spared John died whereas others were being resurrected there was a provision in a new structure that John could not experience he died in offense he died in pain he died hating Jesus he died probing the messiahship of Jesus the man who ordained Jesus to ministry, the man who caused that his heavens were open. He said, go and ask him, are you the Messiah or should we seek for another? Notice that every time they fought Jesus, they didn't just fight the miracles, they fought the wineskin, the structure. Why are you coming with another pattern? They caught a woman who was in adultery and there was a structure already that when this woman is caught, you don't discuss, you stone her and immediately Jesus looks at them and creates another order. Listen to me. You cannot put new wineskin, new revelation, new anointing, new glory, old structure that does not have the provision to receive it. The question is to sustain the sacrifice and the flexibility that even if it means to tear the old wine to give way, let me tell you that's not as easy as it sounds. That's why we're here tonight. If it was that easy, many people will carry the glory that excels. The hardest part of the coming of the glory is not its arrival. It is the level of stretching that happens to a man to have the new wine skin that makes for the space that this new glory will come upon. That's why we are here. We can, we can shout and jump and say, greater anointing, oh God. Greater this. Do you know that the level of living is not the same? Every level of glory has its rules and conditions. This is it. So we may be born again, but the spiritual levels and the levels of glory that come out of us will have certain rules. Because of the level God has taken you, he will give you a rule that is only applicable to you on earth. No other person. It may not make sense, but that is the price to keep the wine skin new. And we will never settle for less. We know 
there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less when we know there's more that's found in you i wrote something down here listen that every level of glory has its demands there is a price to pay for every dimension of the glory of god that we seek to have many people think it's just automatic just because jesus died no sir there is a demand for every face and every level of glory the new wine skin is formed when you are willing to subscribe to the terms that make for higher glory you form the new wine skin by making a decision that lord i desire this dimension of your glory i desire this dimension of your weightiness your presence upon my life now please listen listen somewhere along this conference we are going to be doing an impartation but many of us let me be sincere with you the reason why so many men of god continue to pray and lay hands on you and they bless you from their heart you can go around and say i met bishop oedeko i met papa adeboye have you met this yes but nothing in your life reflects the glory because there was a repulsion their prayer brought the glory but it met a structure that would not allow it you see that you believe that you receive because you fell down but i am telling you now that your falling down was not your receiving look at the strict condition elijah went through to carry a mantle i hope you know it was elijah that was teaching other people they were the students in the school of the spirit yet it was not enough for them to carry the, the bible testifies they were in his school think how much of an angry man elisha was i won't be surprised that elijah slapped elisha was that kind of tamper that caused fire will you want to work with such a person once upon a time elijah was the new wine skin and the wine skin kept looking for a replacement all over he looked at the entire prophets and none of them had the formation none not once and there was a man who kept stretching himself went beyond gilgal went all through and while that was happening elijah was watching elijah continued to frustrate him intentionally and that guy would not be offended look at all the attributes that were preparing him for that mantle then when they crossed beyond jordan elijah looks at him and says you are really desperate i i see the formation you are looking like me now the the kind of alignment i i remember this and i know that you are about to receive something and he says what do you want then the man said sir with all due respect i know where you stopped i went more than that i can take twice you could not take twice your own anointing where you stopped i respect it but my i stretch myself beyond the capacity of that level of grace and he said one more test young man the last test was the test of sight the test of sight not just the test of physical endurance all right you have qualified but one last test if it is true that you stretch the way you claim something should have happened to your eyes and so let me see if you really pass the test because anyone who stretches enough for a double portion something should have happened to his eyes it is impossible to say you have stretched like that and your eyes is still blind therefore my dear son if you can see me as i rise and he looked and suddenly the eyes he said i see you oh my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof listen the anointing came without confusion and he went to jordan he said where is the lord god of elijah he parted it and it parted hither and thither and the moment that happened the prophet saw him and they said the spirit of elijah don't rest on elijah they were so ignorant they didn't even know it was two times it was a double portion graces don't just come anointings don't just come 
there is a glory that excels listen carefully prosperity does not just come liftings don't just come I tell you the reason why the move of God and the treasures of this kingdom never stay on people it will come for a while and then our lack of structure will fight it and it will go so you find out that churches experience certain moves of the spirit for three weeks strange signs and wonders angelic encounters and then it leaves they never experience it again could this be why sometimes when prophecy comes the result happens slowly and then it lifts because you received the prophecy it came from heaven but the spiritual formation that will allow it says now arise oh god from where you are we have prepared a structure that will make you feel comfortable whether you are in heaven or you are in solomon's temple now arise oh lord it says come to your resting place this is even how demons work they don't just enter anybody they search for a formation that looks like where they are coming from or better than it so when a demon look at a man he knows you are not aligned enough for manipulation so it will continue to create systems around your life that tilt you to be aligned enough then it can come was it not in your bible that when a demon leaves a man when it is returning it doesn't return alone it doesn't just return double portion it gathers seven of its kind and comes for many years I wanted to know the mystery behind the very heavy investment of God's presence in others as against others and I gauged it by many parameters and I found out it didn't match I gauged it by many spiritual parameters until I found out that this was the secret. Now arise, O oh Lord, come to your resting place. That means consistently from heaven, mantles and graces and new levels are searching. They continue to move around every service looking for new wineskins and they may not find wineskins. Here is the answer. To why men can be in church for many years and someone will just come and receive the person came with hunger he had stretched himself someone else is standing amen 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 and nothing is happening let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i will show you what to do to the wine skin and then you will see the kind of glory and power that will come upon your life my life changed and the grace of God upon my life took another dimension all of these dimensions you see me walking in they were never there I prayed and said Lord what is the secret thank God for impartation but I knew that mm -mm, impartation is the last step to this thing there is a way why did Elijah have to go through this laborious journey with Elijah why There is a huge price for the glory that excels. You want to speak and let things just happen? You want God to touch the hearts of men? No. This thing is not acting, my brothers and my sisters. It is not even just about praying 10 hours. It is not even just about fasting dry fast. There is something that must happen from within. Now arise, O oh Lord, come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might, and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness, celebrate. I remember some years ago one night I, I will never forget that night I was watching William Branham and tears filled my eyes that night I was so tired I was sleepy but I was watching him and you know the whole documentary on him and I said why do people insult this man you know they make it look like he backslided he left God just because he missed some things here and there 
there are graces that when you carry i will show you there is you have to ask god to help you stand the heaviness of that grace even you god will have to support you otherwise you will not stand i had a vision i will share with you some visions that i've never shared here during this conference let me finish the william branham story we're going to pray i remember that night i was looking at this man and for the first time a sense of honor and compassion i said this is an amazing servant of god the humility that came from that man's life versus all the nonsense that ignorant people kept saying i said look at the look at this man of god look at the grace that comes out of this man and something strange happened to me it was like light from my laptop something cold just rested on my head gradually i didn't used to walk in the prophetic here and there maybe word of knowledge this and that here and there and something cold gradually it took more than 30 minutes it was entering me the next meeting i went to it was like a shock that was when i started seeing angelic presence like lights like ribbons and i said what is this that i'm seeing let me tell you mantles are still looking for men the problem is that there are too many old wineskins structures that refuse to bend structures that refuse to adjust one day i kept praying i wrote the names of certain fathers of faith that i was praying that god would put upon me the grace that he put upon them and then i had a dream in that dream i was in canaan land i think then okay they just a few years after they had built uh let's see no i'm not sure it was more than it wasn't yet up to 10 years since they built the the auditorium then and then i found myself preaching and just like the stage here i was standing you have to just keep your toe just the tip of your toe that's how you stand to preach and the stage was shaking and i couldn't stand well and i said is this how these guys stand to preach that's what i saw in that vision that means all you see is not just standing on stage many people are standing on there are weights there are gracious people carry that the moment you talk about them in the secret that grace was designed because of the weightiness there are extra privileges that come with it you will find out that your heavens will close alone in the secret no demonic assistance just because of the weightiness of it it is true my brothers and my sisters that even among the stars one different from another in glory in glory this that looks small is a deep spiritual secret it's possible to remain at the same level and god sees that you are better off at that level but if it is the glory that excels that you want to receive a dimension of his weightiness you want to add weight to your spiritual life the requirement is not just prayer the requirement is not just bible study i'm going to show you the requirement turn with me please very quickly to second corinthians chapter 4 many of you have not been trained to have regard for the glory of god that comes upon men second corinthians chapter 4 from verse 17 please for our light affliction which is but for a moment what is the affliction doing walk it for us stop stop there is a raw material that trains men the bible calls it affliction i know you don't <laughs> for this hammer that i use work it in me this vessel that affliction is like a hammer that can chisel a man he may not know what is happening but there is a a, a formation happening our light affliction apostle paul is writing that worketh for us a what i told you there is a glory that excels 
if it is that weight of glory you want there is a dimension of affliction that the bible says it is a tool that is used you don't like the nice message i know <laughs> hmm. what do you think makes god to have a covenant with a man not old testament not new testament what do you think empowers that you make a statement and god just honors you reading the bible just praying in the night no sir no sir there are secrets one of them is your volunteering to affliction it was it didn't it say i bear in my he said let no man trouble me i carry a glory that excels and here are the scars that show for it let no demon resist me because i carry a glory that excels and here is the star that shows you want to be an envoy of his presence you want to host the glory of god you want to host the power of god let me tell you there are some sacrifices if you make in the kingdom god will not allow you make other kinds again forever it is true it is true sir there are men and women because of the sacrifice they've had with god god will never allow them to learn about money again in this life it will never happen it's an exemption for them because of what there is an accreditation that happened in that place of pain it's true i always wondered why so many people broke certain principles that i knew that made for certain results and then it looks like life will punish everybody and jump them life will punish everybody and jump them and i said why and god said i am just find out they paid an equivalent of that sacrifice already it is true my brothers and my sisters it is true there is a glory that excels but the bible says for our light affliction which is but for a moment walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory next verse it says while we look not at the things what are the things the afflictions the things that are seen but the things that are unseen it says for the things that are seen are temporal temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal romans chapter 8 from verse 18 for i reckon that the sufferings you know this is paul writing I hope you know it was the same Paul that wrote two third of the New Testament. When Paul says, I glory in my affliction. Now you understand what he was saying. How do you glory in affliction? Believers. Tell me how you glory in affliction. That a man is in chains and bonds. And he calls it glory. I wish what I were telling you were not true. Was it not because of what Mary was going to carry that all the trouble came upon her life? Mary was an innocent virgin, for God's sake, minding her business, and here comes this young carpenter. You just ask her out, all of a sudden an angel comes and says, Mary, there is something we are, we are looking for who can carry it. We have been searching other women and they refused. Probably some had the dream and they casted his mm, leave me. I want peace in my life. And here comes Mary. Let me tell you, if everyone were available, the angel would not come. It looked like Gabriel had been searching. And finally, he says, let me try this one. We bring you salutation of great joy. And she wondered what salutation. He said, this is what will happen to you. And then the woman says, be it unto me. She thought she was saying, let me be pregnant. No. The process that will allow me to carry the word for nine months, be it unto me. From that day, Mary got in trouble to the point that Joseph 
was saying madam i don't know what is it that happened between you and this ghost i don't know which rabbi you are calling an angel but i i won't embarrass you but me i'm going what happens when things start going down and it started the day god spoke to you you were minding your business and it looked like you were better off the day a voice came you will be a mighty man of god from that day your life it looks like god what i was minding myself i was living a happy quiet wonderful life then you go to lie down and sleep and you are seeing a generation and you say god please leave my peace i want my plan is to live a nice life ah. this is the price for carrying the burden of a generation king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god we worship King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. I preached a message years ago called the fullness of affliction. And several people said all kinds of things against the message and I said, oh dear. God has an economy. God has a non-negotiable system. This is the reason why he loves everybody, but not everybody carries the same weight of glory. My brothers and my sisters, the glory of God upon a man is not dependent on his predeterminate counsel. It's how much you are willing to be stretched until you are reformed like the potter. Sometimes you will need to smash that clay again and start building you built it before into a vessel and then you will smash it back and that clay is you hallelujah it's a very very huge sacrifice to carry the glory of god the weightiness of his presence most times we admire the results that we see but let me tell you my brothers and my sisters behind the veil what you see there is the blood and the tears that came with lifting this weight it's a heavy weight a far more exceeding weight of glory a far more exceeding weight of glory hallelujah that you speak to a man and his life does not change you go back to god and say lord why now i spoke and god says no there is a glory level there is there not every part of the mountain delivers the same result it says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord it's a journey if an aircraft will not keep you at the top of the hill you will walk there were five thousand men aside women and children who climbed up the mountain and they were privy to hear certain things that others did not hear the way to the throne is the cross the way to the throne is the cross you will never get to the throne ignoring the cross the only ladder that you will use to climb the throne of destiny is the cross where god will give you a governmental grace to speak over nations you become Beulah and hefziba the desire of nations notice in the parable of the talents do you know the real blessing that happened to them it was not well done good and i used to think it was well done good and faithful servant until one day the spirit of the lord says study it and i found out well done good and faithful servant was a parting of their back certain portions were up, were given to them territorial influences that was the blessing the labor of doing something with what they were given qualified them for these dimensions
at every level at every level please listen to me carefully at every level there is a demand there is a level of sacrifice there is a level of real sacrifice that makes for certain glories but paul said compared to the glory that that level delivers the sacrifice can be called a light affliction second corinthians chapter 3 we are going to pray from verse 9 and 10 it says for if the ministration of condemnation talking about the law now carried some glory in it he said much more that the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory next verse it says for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excels that there is a level you can walk with god my brothers and my sisters and through this sacrifice of remolding yourself to become a new wine skin that god will put a dimension of his glory that when you look back what you used to call glory that it is not glory in this respect a level of signs and wonders a level of the performance of God's word a level of increase and grace a level of prosperity the wealth of the kingdom a level of spiritual illumination it comes by that track record of pain and sacrifice sacrifice the weightiness of God's glory finding vessels that can fit it the weightiness of God's power finding vessels that can receive it the weightiness of the spirit of revelation finding men there are times that it comes close and you fall it you can't even host it first and then it goes back waiting for you to truly become that vessel it says but we all like living stones we are being chiseled and built into a spiritual house a house that can host god There are many things in my life today i would have prayed for for so long to come but sometimes just a desire in my heart is enough to bring it the secret is that when you contend for the glory that excels please hear me if you're a man of god here hear me twice what we call ministry now in the next five years many people will be frustrated because there are people pressing into these dimensions genuinely there are people that desires tangibility substance of the spirit they are the ones who will become the desire of nations and many others will pale and fade in glory this is not backsliding this is that God has begun something is a new order and like John the Baptist and like the scribes you may scrounge around for relevance but the light now is on Jesus the question therefore is are you willing to subscribe to the demands demands of lifestyle demands of covenant listen it will cost you everything the price for all of God is all of you let me say it again the price for all of God is all of you write it media let the world lend this the price for God's head is not all of you the price for God's hand is not all of you. The price for God's heart and all of him is all of you. That's why we can see certain dimensions. You just want the wisdom of God or some dimensions of his creativity, but not all of him. If you want to host God, then all of you must be beaten like the potter with the clay. It's not a gospel that many people like. Nobody likes suffering nobody likes affliction we were not designed that way that's why it's a sacrifice there is a glory that excels but it will come upon vessels that have been worked on changed he says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then it says we all with unveiled face 
beholding him as in a glass we are changed you know it looks like once you are just looking you are being changed ask elisha it was not just looking like it was saying there is a dynamics of death that works in you so that life will work in other people let me tell you this 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 thing i'm teaching you is a is a master mystery even in the occult and those who practice all of these things their the level of glory in court if i will use that word is corresponding to their the level of tremendous sacrifice i remember reading a book about a, a somebody who would receive some kind of strange power and the condition was to fast non-stop for 150 days if you miss one day you start afresh you don't continue you fast to a point that you don't know whether you have eaten or not there is your body has lost the ability to tell you whether you are full or you are hungry so god will want to take you to certain realms and god will now say oh pastor alpha because of what i'm about to do for the next five months i will need every 12 to 3 a.m of your time not three to five regardless of what the event is the demand is 12 o'clock to three the next six months think about it if you are interested let me know you will be free from 9 to 11 that's not the timing God gave you you will even be free from 40 forever you will find out that you will be so tired by 11 45 you don't know if you are standing or sitting but you remember that our light affliction you may look stupid see it's difficult to do these things when you have people that love you they will pity you too much to allow you continue the pain of what you go through it will attract their sympathy that's why abraham told the servants wait here i have to go alone with my sacrifice if those servants were on the mountain they will fight abraham and bring isaac down there are certain things when god wants to do in your life you you will have to agree with him that you will be alone in this so that he can do with you what he wants because the innocence and the humanity of men sometimes will interrupt the process if you're married and you see your husband eating once a week and acting like a strange man one day you will be tired you will close the door and sit down there and start crying and whether he's, he's serious with god or not the compassion that comes from that union will make him say god whatever it is please let me just let me just let me just subscribe to the demands of my wife what do you think made john the greatest prophet have you studied john's life how much of his life was in public view look at how john was born from that time at least for jesus we saw what happened the first 12 years what happened to the next 18 years of jesus is something you should find out because the bible does not tell us any other thing again about jesus from age 12 until 30 we see a man coming what happened for those 18 years what happened to the 19 years of paul in the wilderness of arabia what happened to the 40 years of moses at the backside of the mountain let me show you that this is consistent with men who carry glory it is not new it didn't start now are we together john the baptist the bible just shows us that there is an adult in the wilderness who was given a, a what i would call a wicked prescription there was meat those days there was fish those days there was wine those days but he dressed in camel skin and then he was in the wilderness and the only food that he was allowed to eat was locust and wild honey was he not the prophet that was told to sleep on one side for one year i don't know if you don't read your bibles did you read about the prophet who ate animal dung for one year I 
I tell you why our generation is powerless. We are noisy people, but there's no power. This is it. We hate the sacrificial dimension that brings the glory. Let him that glory and glory in this, that he knoweth me. He understands my way. And because of his subscribing to my patterns, he can carry a glory that is greater than the glory of the wise, greater than the glory of the strong, greater than the glory of the rich. There are men, let me tell you, I believe that there are people who will open up their hearts and say, Lord, I am willing. Let's go this journey. I am willing. I am willing. You know, most times we sing songs of surrender and we just sing them as special numbers. I want you now to think because God answers those prayers. Use me, oh God. I'm available. And God says, I'm listening. Keep talking. Do with me anything you want to do. Uh, have you had that kind of prayer? God says, thank you. This is all I've been asking you. It's a dangerous prayer to say, do with me what you want. It's even dangerous to sing it. Do with me what you want. Do with me what you want. You study the scapegoat that was taken. Malhandled and taken everywhere. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. Do with me what you want. Lord, my life is yours. Do with me what you want. And God says, okay, I look at you and I need to chisel here and here. Can I go on? And you say, Lord, I've said, do with me what you want. The first hammer touching you, you say, God, is this it? No. I changed my mind. Is it by force? I'm already born again. God says, it's not by force. But then the glory you seek, do not be angry when you see it on another person. So many men of God can be here. But there is glory that excels corresponding to the spiritual sacrifices let me tell you this is a non-negotiable condition there are cups you don't pray to pass you you obtain the grace to drink them he said grant that you know when you have conquered caesar etc etc let me sit at your left and right the mother of james and john was asking jesus didn't say there is no vacancy he said you want to sit close to me here is the condition one can you drink of my cup internal and can you be baptized with my baptism the woman didn't answer it for the children john would later answer it and he paid for it he really did he was at the isle of patmos but that guy had so pressed into these things that hot oil had no effect on him. And Peronero said, what do we do with this guy now? We have tried to roast him in oil. It didn't work. And they banished him to an isle called Patmos. These are the men, the Bible says, the earth is not worthy of. There is a reason why the earth is not worthy. They walked sometimes like fugitives and vagabonds looking for a city whose builder and maker is the Lord. They so pressed into these things for some of them, life made no sense again. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. You have Anoint my everything, use my everything, I release my everything, you have my everything, say, take all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything, take all of me, all of me, Lord. I thought Jesus being the son of God, Jakes, should, should exempt him from this pattern. Why will the son of God be in the wilderness? Talk to me, believers. The son of God left heaven, born of the spirit. It didn't change the pattern. As soon as Jesus came out of the water, it was not a demon that drove him. There are many times what drives you to that wilderness is not always Satan. 
the spirit didn't speak he drove him to the wilderness notice that every time these men were in these places they were alone it's not a corporate thing it's not a husband and wife thing it's not a classmate it's not a roommate thing it is you and god and your destiny this is the price it takes to be trusted with the keys of a generation this is the price it takes to become the face of god to a generation it's not by voting it's not by popularity census it's not by likes and shares it's a testament of a sacrifice in the spirit known by both god and demons believers either we are just playing games and we truly do not desire to be the carriers of this glory or someone here will be willing to pray listen let me tell you you would think the sacrifice to host god's glory is hard until you see the alternative the alternative is a miserable life of guessing left right and center with your destiny shattered and you are you are a victim of just anything jesus paid the price once and he was ready by this time many years ago Jesus was in hell hellfire Jesus hellfire Jesus Hades the place of the dead and the father was watching and all these demons were upon their own creator the word of God that proceeded Ah, but though weeping endures for a night shabalakabarakosia one thing i know is that affliction does not remain forever it has an expiry date when the legal claims of justice were made paul reveals to us by the spirit that jesus made a public show of them triumphing over them and one of the things he got in hell so there can be keys in hell and you will need to go down to hell to get some keys <laughs> sometimes you will need to go down to come up with keys Jesus descended before he ascended so you will rise up by going down are we together now and he collected the keys and in revelations he said I am he that was dead but now I am alive and I hold the keys the coronation service only happened when he went through this we're going to pray tonight there is a glory that excels I bring you a very powerful mystery the glory that excels Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech thee brethren who is he talking to brethren not unbelievers I beseech thee brethren by the mercies of God that you do what offer offer your bodies as a not a sacrifice a living sacrifice let me tell you what that means a sacrifice that remains a sacrifice when a sacrifice dies it stops being a sacrifice it's over the real sacrifice was the life of that object so when the life goes there's no more sacrifice it is the process of extracting life from that thing that is the sacrifice now he says you are a sacrifice you are alive but it's a posture you will continue to take holy and acceptable unto god and he says it's your reasonable act of worship i have found this key from the day i found this key i stopped being afraid of pain i stopped being afraid of sacrifice i became friends with it and i found out that in that darkness that's where light comes from god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness not into darkness out of darkness darkness is the mother that gives birth to light 
and the evening came and the morning and the evening came and the morning let me encourage you listen to me listen to me very carefully be careful so that you don't judge things from the standpoint of men there are certain things that you may be passing through that you may think these things are happening just because of unbelief i told you that faith doesn't always receive it also takes faith to release you lose things too by faith by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice there were women who their children died and instead of them to raise them back they said no problem let them go and the bible calls it faith read it it's not everybody who brought their child back to life that were called men of faith others died do you know why plants grow because they subscribe to this same principle death and glory when you carry a seed and throw it on the earth what happens you studied agric what happens the life is in the death takes you come back after two days if you open it you will see that there is no more beauty there is no beauty in the grave there is no comeliness there is only the death that brings resurrection and notice what happens the first thing that happens is some process of decay and even degradation and then out of the rottenness it begins to open it's deshaping as bad as it is it's making room for something new and sometimes it can be so bad that part of the old one will come out too with a new one and you can look at it and know this is the dead seed and this is the one that grows I wish I can tell you the glory of God comes just by speaking and saying receive grace there are you want to be given the keys of a nation my brother and my sister there is a track record there is a scar there is a testament of death that must happen I presume we are going to pray tonight because it looks like we are in a funeral service You know what you do in a funeral service you dig the ground and you carry the dead body and throw it in but when you throw the body in the funeral service you don't expect it to come out but what we're engaging tonight is a mystery that when you are thrown in the grave then you are ready to come out after a few days of silence suddenly suddenly you begin to shoot against gravity with another life and that small tiny seed will now become a tree that birds will come and nest they will be grateful that you paid the price every food you eat today is because a seed volunteered to die listen to me carefully if seeds stop dying you stop rising too the reason why we continue to live is because there are seeds that are dying they died last year the moment rain starts falling isn't it amazing that when rain starts falling that's the right time for the seed to die seeds die during rain rain that should give life but that's when seeds die and then life comes from it we're going to pray in the next 10 minutes it's going to be a general prayer before i lead you find whatever corner outside this is you and god just play worship for us and you're going to say lord the death that must turn me into a new wine skin let it happen to me tonight the death that must happen oh god for the glory that this generation is waiting for don't be afraid the sacrifice Lord you are calling me to be a prophet to the nations but there is a level of death please pray this is between you and God let hope rise Yeah. 
darkness trembles in your holy love. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy love. Pray, pray. Sila barakata jina na malana matuli anara. Era ba she na na ma she na 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 na. Era na 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 na. Lira sabaru jalis kamanda prati gala shobras kadi alhasa. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. But whoever loses it for my sake will gain it. We gain things in this kingdom by losing them. Halabaranda zana kaparuza seketazi ana kaparuza sia. Ina balana ba, ina na na na, ina na na na, ina na na na. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Are there people praying tonight? Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Walk through me, yeah. live through me. Shera matala namasya. Oh, come with the refiner's fire. 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 Baranda rara sala baratu jalega brende geratu sia sabaratu skaba sala baru sesege de barunda sala bariada as the deer pants after the water brook find a generation my king find a generation that desires you more than life more than wisdom more than money more than power find for yourself a bride adorned in her beauty. Yeah, 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 yeah,
don't be tired surrender everything turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host your power in this generation turn me oh god to the wine skin that will host the end time anointing for miracles for wealth for signs for wonders Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane. Komi na na kane ya Yesu. Komi na na kane. Yeshua Hamashiach. Komi na na kane. Yeshua Hamashiach. Komi na na kane. Two or three more minutes. But in a great house, there are vessels of gold and of silver, of wood and of clay. Some are unto honor and others are unto dishonor. It belongs to you. Hey. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Yeshua, Hamashiach, 
You see, my brothers and my sisters, one of the assignments of fire, the primary purpose of fire was not just for demons it was for the saints it is the fire of the holy spirit it's not just holy ghost fire demons the fire not only refines not only purifies it can melt completely and then remold again it is not every time the fire comes to just purify sometimes that whole vessel needs to melt down for something new to come. It is not every time God comes to adjust the old. Sometimes he comes to immerse you into his fire. Then remold you as something that has never been before. Yeshua HaMashiach Yeshua I like you tonight to pray Lord whatever took your place in my life please return to your resting place is someone praying tonight I don't know how it got there but in this season arise majesty return to your resting place Arise, my God, return to your place of rest. Yeshua, Hamashia, Omina, Nakane, Yeshua, Hamashia. For some of us is friends some of us is the obsession to succeed some of us is the obsession to be in ministry whatever has taken its place please dethrone it this night dethrone it this night for some of us, it's money that took his place. Reputation, ego, revelation, the quest for the anointing. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Omina Nakane. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Omina Nakane. In this season, let me tell you, the new wine of the Spirit is moving from nation to nation, from continent to continent finding the vessels that have the space there are all kinds of mantles graces that have not been seen before but they are searching for a new wine skin you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin you cannot put a new prophetic wine in an old prophetic wine skin a new apostolic wine in an old apostolic wine skin a new territorial wine in an old territorial wine skin let us leave the old and press for the new press for the new press for the new pray just one more minute then we'll pray corporately that's why we came tonight 
de malama samara da baliara bali kadama de arana mons without new wine you cannot have the new songs without new wine you cannot have the new sermons you will keep recycling the old copying from man of god to man of god it will take new wine to understand the rhythm of the spirit hallelujah praise the lord listen to me we have a few more minutes just a few minutes and then we'll stop acts chapter 26 and verse 22 there are times in your life listen where because of the kind of glory that is coming no matter how you release yourself you will still not have the capacity you will need to cry for an assistance from heaven he says having therefore obtained help of god i continue unto this day the reason i'm still standing from glory to glory i saturated my effort at a point but having obtained help from god i continue to this day having obtained help from god in the apostolic ministry in the prophetic ministry in the pursuits to bring the wealth of the kingdom to the saints in the pursuit to doing this and that whatever it is there are times when you stretch yourself to the limit and it still cannot make for the size of the glory you will need to turn to the helper of zion it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue it takes the help of god to keep going there are times you will reach your elastic limit you will stretch and break to pieces you will still not meet god's standard is someone ready to cry for help from heaven lord assist me assist me let 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 the divine help the alignment it will take to command the wealth of the kingdom in this season lord assist me there is only so much i can do the alignment that will be required to carry the apostolic and the prophetic grace i cry for help having obtained help from god i continue God is the helper of men. God can help you. He can help you rise. He can help you stand. He can help you reign. He can help you conquer. He has not stopped being the helper. The Holy Spirit is called the helper. hallelujah hallelujah please pair yourselves in twos if you can just hold someone those under the anointing or just alone just leave them but hold your hands you are going to cry to heaven agreeing with that person say lord a superior realm of results a new dimension of grace glory that is all encompassing i receive it agree 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 with somebody pray outside pray those online pray this is the season oh god of the glory that excels in ministry in business the glory that excels the glory that excels the weightiness, the desirability that excels, that I become the desire of nations, I become the desire of kings. Please pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. 
Ebragadula Baruta Segete E Koto 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 Bash Embragatu Zaziana Kata Rapa Papa Ruto Totosh Endereketosh Kelebash Rakata Baruto Shoblegede Prato Zosi Dabiash Ebragatu Zezezekata Zom Baruta Sobragede Balanaba Embrokoto Shegete Lebarash Alléluia. Alléluia. Psalm 45, verse 12. I believe it is. The Lord just put it in my heart. This is the level that God is taking us to. I hope you remember the teaching I did about Tyre and Sidon. The marketplace of the earth where the exchange is made it says and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor there is an investment of the spirit that comes upon your life listen I want to show you how this relates to extraordinary fruitfulness there are realms where you would not beg and search for your sacrifice and your investment will cause nobles to come with what you would have looked for the daughter of tyre will come with a gift the gift you would have been searching for and then the rich among the people not the poor there is a grace because you left looking for the glory of wealth to seek his face he will cause those who have the glory of the wealth to come to entreat your favor Listen, that means wealth is not favor. Because there is a favor that even the rich are looking for. What is it? They are not coming to just look at you. There is something money cannot buy. The rich will entreat your favor. They will come to you and it will be a privilege to give them audience I like you to pray and say Lord on account of the glory you are putting upon my life even in this season let the daughter of Tyre begin to come with her gift and let the kings of these systems come with their treasures to entreat my favor please lift your voice and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding he la barato sakata bati asha, embrada kato shaliza siya kaparuza siya. Because I have subscribed to the glory that comes from your face, not the glory that comes from wealth, not the glory that comes from human wisdom, not the glory that comes from human might, the glory that comes from knowing you. Let the daughter of Tyre come with her gift. Let the nobles of the earth begin to entreat my favor pray for koinonia in this season kings coming to entreat your favor hallelujah the bible says that a time will come when seven virgins it was a prophetic statement seven virgins will hold on to one man that spiritual Jew they are not holding on to him just because he's handsome there is something that the tribe he comes from carries and seven dimensions that have not been seen come to you and say we want to be part of your life we want to be featured in your destiny such a force of attraction such a force of attraction dimensions that have never been seen they will come and latch on to you father whatever is for me in this season by the grace you are putting on my life it must be attracted to me in this season lift your voice and pray like a believer you are placing an anointing. You are placing a grace and a glory. 
you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory you are my glory you are my inheritance Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time will fail me to share with you the testimonies of the level of ease that your life will step into when you truly carry the glory of God. The glory of God is a voice. It can speak. It can speak to kings. That the things you once desired will come to you at a platter because his glory is upon you he says arise shine for your light has come not just that the glory of the lord is risen upon you the glory that excels this is the glory that will humble the arrogance of the kings of the earth if all you look for is money you will be like them if all you look for is human scientific wisdom you will be like them if all you look for is human systems of fortification but press for his face understand his ways and let him invest upon you a glory that excels and you will watch with wonder the way God will draw glory out of your life. There are new and strange kinds of anointings that are coming upon the body of Christ. There are new and strange dimensions of the workings of the Spirit as has never been seen. The times and the seasons already signify it. And our own is just to say, Maranatha, come Lord. Come with all of these things. Come. Come. The body of Christ is stepping into certain offices. Certain levels of spiritual possibilities. That Micah 4 prophecy of the church ascending. We will humble the pride of kings. The church is not a nuisance to civilization. No. God is giving us a voice that cannot be silenced. A voice that not the rich will ignore. The poor will not ignore. Politicians will not ignore. But our price is to become the new wine skin that can carry that new wine. And when the new wine finds a resting place, then there is no limit to what you can do. You have won the victory. That's why we make our boast all day long. Hallelujah. He's won it all for you. You have won it all for me. Sing it one more time with faith in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you desire a miracle, when you desire a breakthrough in your life, the first way into that miracle is an encounter with the Word of God. Every true miracle, every true breakthrough, every true blessing begins with an encounter. Listen to me, please. Pay attention to what I'm teaching you. You've been suffering for too long. Pay attention. 
pay attention and get out of this thing. There is a way out. Others are testifying. You are the only one who is left. Pay attention and get out of this thing once and for all. There is a way of escape. There is a way of escape. The Bible says the labor of the fool weary yet every one of, of them because they do not know the road to the city. Not because there is no road. There is. There is. Your prayer point is already somebody's testimony. It means God is able. Hallelujah. If God has changed SS to AA and you are here seated with SS, is, is it such a big deal? Is it such a big deal? Or a job beyond your wildest imagination? So pay attention. An encounter with the word of God is the starting point of any miracle. And now I, I will explain to you. When we talk of an encounter with the word of God, we are not just saying you read your Bible because you've been reading it for a long time. We are not just talking of um, reading your Bible and, and looking at it. Wow, I found this. No, an encounter means something happens to you. There is a light that leaves that word. The ministry of the word of God is the first way out of any predicament in life. Please get me. The ministry of the word of God. There are some of us here right now. We are trusting God for jobs. And I know that if all of a sudden I announce now. And I say our daddy prof is in this place. There are some of our, our fathers scattered around. Great influential men. Our fathers, our mothers. People who with one call can give you a job. I say all those who want jobs. Come and stand here. You greet daddy. Many of you will already be jumping. You say I God bless Koinonia. But, but do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know that I told you about the Illuminati and the secret societies, right? By the privileged position of being called into an apostolic ministry, it affords me the opportunity to study other religions and study a lot of false activities of darkness. Not necessarily to pervert my faith. But so that I can bring the body of Christ into accuracy. Look up please. Don't let any man fool you. I was teaching someone today. I think it was Pastor Femi. Listen. Every one successful person who has been empowered by the devil. Please listen to me. Everybody who has been empowered by the devil. Had an encounter with something that represented him. Are you getting my point? I shared with you about the 2003 hundred ancient manuscript that they found that it had magical powers upon it that if you only took that book and just read the title alone fortunes will begin to follow you there are people on earth today with those evidences those secret societies recruit people they select people specially every year and it's by divination they select them so when they select you they get across to you. You will not know how, but they will call you. They will say, you have hereby been invited. Your life is about to change. They don't ask you whether you believe them or not. They give you access to read some of those materials. You step out immediately and you will see calls coming, alerts coming, opportunities. Look at me. If you ever think prosperity is just about job or business, you are joking. There is a spiritual agency that makes things work in the natural are you getting what i'm saying this this is what this is what i've been crying about for years that the body of christ get it's not just about physical things there is a spiritual factor that makes things work is somebody learning something An encounter with the word releases something. People just read a book. Right? And something comes upon them they cannot explain. All of a sudden they come out. And you are drawn to withdraw money and give them. Just like that. All of a sudden you stand up and begin to advocate their case. What, what sort of life is that? Look. They 
that know their God, they are the ones who will be strong. It's not about age. Listen, it's not, it's not even entirely just about education and I have a great deal for academia and, and all of that, but let me tell you, there is a reality that predates our existence and if you do not know it, you will be a victim in this life. Psalm 82 from verse 5. The Bible says, They know not, neither will they understand. I have spent my life studying the laws of the Spirit. I have literally committed my life to explore these ancient mysteries. What was the secret of ancient men? What made them mighty? What made them great? And I found out that every mighty man, then and now, stands upon a spiritual advantage there is a pedestal in the spirit that sponsors their audacity is someone hearing what i'm saying you don't just tell somebody be healed and he gets healed brothers and sisters human beings are not idiots are you hearing what i'm saying i can't just look at this lady and say your story will change and then it changes come on i prophesy as I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. See, this is the dynamics of miracles. I'm explaining to you the inner workings of the miraculous. It happens because all that you see is not all that there is. This realm is a three-dimensional realm, physics tells us, and is limited. The realm of the spirit has other dimensions, meaning there are other possibilities beyond the scope of our intellect are you getting what i'm saying yes this is the realm of wisdom that kings reign by he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice he said with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness tonight is not just for you to receive a miracle but to empower you that when you make a statement there is an understanding that forces that statement to come to pass. Hallelujah. When you talk to people about finances, the first idea that comes to their mind is business. Is that not true? What business? Okay, real estate. Okay, stocks. Okay, this and that. I've said it again and again. Again and again. That I don't care what business you do or what job you are having. You will struggle forever until there is a spiritual factor that is at work. Are you getting me? Yes. The Bible says you have an unction from the Holy One. He said that unction can teach you. Isaiah 48 from verse 17. He says, I am the Lord thy God that teach thee to profit and lead you in the way that you should go. There is an anointing. This hit and run trial and error life must end tonight. We can walk circumspectly on the strength. Listen, you can be 70 years old and have an error about life for that long. Are you getting me? A whole nation can be wrong. Our society, we transfer knowledge upon the strength of what we know or what we have been told. When man ran away from God, he said, Adam, where are thou? Genesis 3. He says, the Lord had the talking spirit, the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where are thou? He said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you? Meaning your life is a summation of the informations you have gotten and you have believed. But could it be that what you have held as truth all your life may not necessarily be accurate taught by well-meaning people there is the life of the kingdom and there is the life of this world system cosmos we are not the same it says you are in the world but you are not of the world there is a plane of reality you must function for hallelujah So number one, an encounter with the word. You need an encounter with the word. The word of God does three things among many other things. Please write. Number one, the word of God shows you the basis upon which you will receive any promise. The word of God 
shows you the basis. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Everybody say legal realm. So you don't just, you can play crooks in the earth realm here, but not in the realm of the spirit. Everything is done legally and legitimately. If you ever see anything manifest itself, certain laws were applied. Praise the Lord. So the word of God shows you the basis. Remember in our, our series, uh, the teaching, Give Me This Mountain. I teach about the spiritual dimension of life. That there are gates on every mountain. Everybody say there are gates on every mountain. When you get to that mountain of breakthrough, there are gates. It will not just open because you are a Christian. When Jesus in Psalm 24 was about to come out from the grave, the Bible says there were gates. The psalmist saw it. It said, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors. Did they open? No, sir. They asked a question, who is this king of glory? Give us the basis of your audacity. Upon what are you standing? And he says, he is the Lord, strong and mighty. The one who just defeated darkness. And the gates open. So when you stand to receive the miracle, oh God, change my story from SS to AA. There will be a question in the spirit upon what strength that's the parable that jesus was giving the parable right of two men who built houses one upon sand the other upon a rock two houses were built but what supported them became the distinguishing factor praise the lord the basis it's important for you to know the basis let me tell you very straight and uh, in, a, in a way that does not require any confusion. Everybody writes, the finished work of Christ. This is the basis. This is the reason. It is the one master factor. The finished work of Christ. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Many of us need to meditate on what he really did for us. Do you know that it is on the strength of what happened on the cross? The way, access, the veil has been torn and it's given us access. Access. Revelations 5. Revelations 5. Verse 9. Very quickly, please let's hurry up so that we can do much tonight. Revelations 5. And they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. It says, For thou wast slain and you have redeemed us unto God. How? By thy blood. That's the basis. The substitutionary work of Christ. I told you, you can get our teaching the speaking blood. I told you blood is a key in the spirit. Is that true? Blood is a key in the spirit. Everybody's blood can open certain doors, but not every door. That's why when you go to a herbalist, he will, he will calculate by divination and tell you the kind of blood that will open the gate you want. So the blood of Jesus is the greatest because it is the master key. There is no door that it cannot open. It says, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Verse 10. It says, and has made us unto our God kings and priests. And as a result, we shall reign. Everybody say dominion. He has given us access to dominion. Access to dominion. Praise the Lord. So when you study the word of God, it gives you the basis. So when you stand and say, I'm tired of this cancer, or I'm tired of this barrenness, it's been five years, I've not been able to take in. The realm of the spirit will ask you, so upon what now do you believe you will take in? And you tell them there is a key that has opened that door. There is a key. The blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Everybody say the blood of Jesus is my access 
to my inheritance. One more time, say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. You're not just saying it after me, you are confessing. Say the blood of Jesus is my access to my inheritance. Hallelujah. That's the reason why you will get married. That's the reason why the devil must leave tonight. That's the reason why the genotype must change. That's the reason why every prophetic word that comes upon you must produce result. That's the reason why as many of you standing outside, although you are far, but the ministry of that blood can still speak. Hallelujah. I believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. Not just because preacher said the blood is powerful. I have a revelation of the significance of the blood. Revelation is powerful. It produces true faith in your spirit. So that you are not believing blindly. You are believing upon the strength of an understanding. So the blood of Jesus is your basis for receiving breakthroughs. And when we stand up to pray and we begin to challenge the gates of hell. You don't stand weak. And you are wondering and say, do you know nobody in my family has crossed this barrier? You say, well, I couldn't cross it, but that blood created a divide and I must walk past it. Look, let me tell you. The Bible says, let me show you something. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. Let's look at Isaiah. Isaiah, help me Holy Spirit. Isaiah 41 verse 21. I saw this scripture in 2004 and it changed my life. Isaiah 41, 21. Everybody read. One to read. Look, God is speaking like a judge in a law court. Are you getting me? He said, produce your cause. He said, bring forth your strong reason. Give me a scriptural basis to bless you justify your qualification to step into a new level you don't say that just by jacking yourself you lift up the blood and say this is my basis this is my basis upon the strength of what your son did he has given me access to health he has given me access to the blessing of the Lord praise God Number two, an encounter with the word of God brings you to agree with God. It brings you to agree with God. We call that, listen, we call that alignment and transformation. Alignment and transformation. Somebody come. Please look for that scripture for me. With God, all things are possible. Right? Somebody come. Anybody? Watch this. An encounter with the word of God. Remember I told you in our teaching yes, um, last week, right? The reality of what? Spiritual laws. I told you that no man can activate any law by himself. Is that true? A spirit entity, either the Holy Spirit or another spirit must work with you. So in the realm of the spirit, partnership is the order of things. You cannot do anything alone. Either a demon spirit or the spirit of God must assist you. So the Bible says, you are yet to find it. Matthew, Matthew 19, 26, media. Are you getting my point now? The problem with many people is that we are far apart. This is where God is standing. This is God's mindset. Right? It says, as far as the heavens are above the earth, so are my thoughts, my ways. Is that true? So this is God standing. And he's saying, come and join me. But she's standing here and saying, Lord, I need you to help me. And God is saying, it's against the law. You have to find, come, I supply grace. You take advantage of that grace and come. When we are together. So the Bible says, with God. Come. With God, all things become possible. So without God, 
nothing becomes possible. So that cancer with God becomes possible. You see that? Are you getting my point? That admission with God. The Bible says with God. So koinonia miracle service with God will produce result. The, 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 this is the mystery. This is the mystery of impact with God. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed. Why? For God was with. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. This is the mystery. Divine assistance coming into God's realm. You no longer become an enemy of your own destiny. And we call that alignment and transformation. That's one of the major ministries of the word. So the word of God begins to advocate a superior mindset. Higher and greater than the ideology you've held on to. It may be cultural. It may be intellectual. Right? It may be societal. But when the word of God begins to judge you, it shows you the excellency of God's own mindset. And it's up to you to say, Lord, although this is all I believed my, all my life. For instance, there are people who are here with certain terminal diseases and they have been told. They've lived all their lives believing. They didn't even come for the miracle service for that specific case to be healed. They came for something else. Right? Because according to their mind, it has not yet become a possibility that God can address that issue. But when he looked at the tomb where Lazarus had been buried, he said, roll away the stone. Proof that I can raise Lazarus back by you going to open up that case that you have closed. Praise the Lord. I believe God. I'm a believer. I truly believe him. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. It says, lean not on your own understanding. The next verse says, in all your ways, not some. He didn't say talk to him he says acknowledge him you acknowledge a man by giving him preference he says and as a result he will direct your path next verse says be not wise in your own understanding he says fear the lord and turn away from evil hallelujah very important so with god this lady may be weak unable to do anything but with god she may be broke, suffering, nothing is working. But all of a sudden she comes and she finds out that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. She begins to learn the ways of God that he can open up the heavens. That it is the blessing of the Lord, not your business. It is the blessing. The blessing makes everything you do prosper. That's why it says whatsoever he doeth prospers. So it's not about what you are doing. It's about the spiritual factor that supports what you are doing. So, with God, with God, she suddenly becomes powerful. All of a sudden, doors of favor open up to her because she has chosen to leave her old mindset and come to God. Listen to me. Tonight, the first miracle you need to have is to give up on your ideologies and say, Lord, I'm tired because your life is a reflection of your ideologies. I don't care what the situation is. I told us last week that your environment will eventually become a reflection of what? Your belief system and your ideology. He said, let this mind, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mind please i know that you came from kaduna state and kaduna state there may be a way you thought about in your village i know that you came from from the east and there is a way that they thought i know that you come from the west i know that you come from katsina tonight will you choose to become a citizen of the kingdom by adopting the ideologies of the king. Subscribe to a new government. Every government has an economic system. Every government has a political system. Every government has a welfare system. 
if you've been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more shall your heavenly father but that law is only operational for the sons of the kingdom hallelujah the word of god brings you into alignment listen when i begin to study the word of god or when she begins to study the word of god and she finds out that there is an ideology that she has that fights against the word of god you will be foolish to argue with the word of god the word of god predates our existence it has been tried through dispensations the word of god is a description of his character his operation with man and i told you that the efficacy of the word transcends genesis 1 is beyond that it predates genesis 1 i told you genesis 1 is not the first creation we've, we've settled that right job 38 those of you who are just coming this is koinonia get the series hallelujah that there, there is a lot of creation genesis 1 uh, isaiah 38 begins to give us how the foundation of the earth was created praise the lord the question i'm asking you is i know you want god to bless you but could it be that the devil that needs to go out today is not the one in your village is the one that has stayed in your mind like a stronghold the bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to what the pulling down of strongholds casting down every yazar imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ praise the lord so we have been given a poverty mentality as africa we have been taught that until you are 25 or 30 don't think about finances don't think about blessing don't think about empowerment and you are told that you are too young to carry the power of god or you are a lady you shouldn't carry the power of god these are the ideologies that cosmos markets to us but you must refuse it say i refuse shout it i refuse mm. you must refuse it you must refuse it who told you you were naked who told you you were naked i honor the doctors but do you know that there are many people who are, who have several sicknesses but it never affects them because they do not have a medical report to validate it you went to check headache they said my brother this thing is more than headache well, I, you mean you would have died now we have a lot of doctors here doctors i love you praise the lord but now when you check and they tell you huh do you know that your liver is almost in fact you say you you mean it hi from that time your liver starts paining you physically right and then the doctor tells you you have two weeks to live all of a sudden somebody says there's an opportunity god is lifting us they let him lift you there i'm dying i believe the report of the lord I believe the report of God. See, listen. You don't see with your eyes. You see through your eyes. There is a spiritual agency for sight. You only see through these physical eyes. It's not what you see with. They are just the physical components that enable your true spiritual eye to see. And Paul prayed that that eyes be flooded with light. Praise the Lord. So we need alignment. That's why you can pray for people. Pray for them. Lay hands on them. Do whatever you want to do. Did you know that sometimes you finish praying and then the people walk right back because their mindset betrays what God wants to do in their lives. That's what happened to the nation of Israel. Right? Everything you have told Moses we will do oh after two weeks they say kai a, a delegation comes and they say moses we, we need an explanation go and bring Baal. make something for us that we can see this mysterious god who comes with smoke we don't know this one please make something we know they limited god in the wilderness a man's mindset can limit god as mighty as he is i refuse to limit you Number three, 
the word of God, an encounter with the word of God shows you your part of the deal. It shows you the part you have to play to commit God to a performance. Never forget this. There is a part that you have to play, brothers and sisters. Every promise in scripture requires a partnership on your own part. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It says, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day. Right? And then it talks about um, you being exalted above all the nations and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If there is a condition. Isaiah 1 19. If ye be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of your, the land. Not if ye be hungry and desperate. If ye be what? Willing. There is a condition. There is a condition. There are always conditions. So an encounter with the word reveals to me my part of God's prosperity package. Lord, you want to bless me. What is my role? Right? I want to step into levels of the anointing. The word of God shows me. Is, see, reading the word is like walking in your promised land. It says walk left and right see everything as far as your eyes have seen so you read studying the word of god is like touring your promised land and you come back and say lord as i read i found this and that and god says all right here's the condition everything is yours for a taking you can enter a restaurant immediately you enter the restaurant you see a lap of an agri chicken and you start smiling but you came there with hundred naira there is a condition you want to be a possessor you want to make that thing become a present reality there is a price tag nobody stops you there's no policeman to stop you but you can watch it like a museum and salivate and watch right and nothing happens you may be 30 years but a little baby will come with his father and he say, Mommy, I like this. And whatever he likes, keep giving it to him. The container did not refuse to open. Your part. I know you are laughing because I spoke about food, but get the revelation because the issue in your life is more than food. Praise God. Oh God, change my story. God says, come let me show you your part of the deal. He said, God, I don't want you. Are, you have died for me. Mm -mm. Listen, listen, listen. Making the word of God work in your life, making that which he has done to work in your life will require a participation on your own part. Please understand this. Praise the Lord. Are we following? So these three things. Tonight, as you are seated here, there are some of us, the reason why certain levels of breakthrough have not come into our lives is because we have not been able to support our claims in prayer with a basis you have you have always every power challenging me you better leave because of what why should they leave do you know what brought them in the first place they were there before you were born so i came to koinonia every demon i'm tired of you <laughs> that's not what drives them you, you don't they don't go because you are tired 38 years that man was lying down at a pool that wicked spirit did not say, Kai, 37, 38, oh yeah, let me allow you, you have tried. You would have remained there forever. In five minutes, five minutes, meaning time does not change anything. Light is what changes things. It will change tomorrow, you are wasting your time. Arise and shine, not because you are tired of sitting, Isaiah 64, thy light is come. Hmm. Are you getting blessed? So there are some of us here, what you need is to understand a revelation of what Jesus Christ has done. You think the reason why you may get everything is because you are bold or because you are praying. It's not that. There is a revelation. The blood of Jesus. For years I heard Reinhard Bonke talk about the blood of Jesus so much. He, he equated blood and fire. And I didn't, I couldn't quite get it until I found out that blood was a key in the spirit. That's why every religion has blood as part of their component. This is the one factor that every religion agrees upon. Blood. Hallelujah. And there are some of us here, 
the problem is our mindset god wants to bless us he wants to lift us but there is a mindset oh i'm a lady oh i'm coming from so so and so i cannot even speak english oh this and that and that and that i've not even gotten admission or oh me i just want a little this or oh, i made that and that huh oh god i want you to bless me but it must happen through nmpc if you are lord it must happen through nmpc they limited god you are asking God for a cup and he wants to give you an ocean. Hallelujah. That's the problem with the body of Christ. Our faith is what I call auxiliary faith. Faith that is standing on something. Tied to the neck of your uncle. So every time you say, Lord bless me, what you mean is press that uncle's neck until he responds to me. Your faith is not really standing upon the word of God. Your faith, every time you say, Lord, I, 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 I know you are changing my story. What you are simply saying, oh Lord, I know my uncle will not sleep until my... No, no, no. Why don't you give him the option to bring the strategy? And you say, Lord, I don't care how it will be done. I may not see wind. I may not see rain. But one thing I know. Because let me tell you, your strategy is most of the time carnal. But his strategy becomes spiritual. When he gives you a strategy, it may look foolish. But that's the way he has chosen it. Right? Go around Jericho. That's the strategy. Oh, I'm already ahead of myself. The second way to receive a miracle or the second platform now. First is an encounter with the word of God. Second is the ministry of prayer. The ministry of prayer is part of the equation to receiving a miracle. There must be the ministry of prayer. It does two things. Number one, prayer challenges the forces of darkness fighting against the manifestation of the promise in your life. Ephesians 6 verse 12. The Bible clearly tells us that we are not alone in this world. We have strangers who are trying to escort us every day, every time. Wicked spirits stratified in different cadres. Right? So you are always not alone. The devil attempts to seek entrance into different dimensions of your life. And given the opportunity, he will wreck your life. The goal, to mock the testimony of God in your life. Praise the Lord. So, there are giants on every mountain. Please, don't let anybody fool you. There are giants on every mountain. If you get into a mountain and the door is already open, somebody already killed the giants, but there were giants there. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness in heavenly places the stratification of the demonic kingdom so between you and your breakthrough there are giants it takes the ministry of prayer hallelujah when you pray you authorize heaven to look into your situation because god is not committed to step into your situation without your asking him to genesis 1 26 from the day he said let them have dominion but God is supposed to know now. Doesn't he love me? Well, it will not change. The bones kept staring at Ezekiel until something happened. Praise the Lord. You come for miracle service and you find out that as the word is coming like this, there are still people seated, oppressed of demons. Right? Some of these demons are hearing what I'm saying now. They are just shaking, but they are not going yet. Let's see if we will go. Must we really go? Yes. By the time we begin to pray we activate the energy the force right it's a force of compliance it brings everything to the obedience of Christ so that's why you need to pray you pray to command the forces of darkness that are stopping your access to bow number two this is an even greater reason why we pray Prayer reveals the exact and the unique strategy to bring the promise to manifestation. Please never forget this. When you pray in the place of prayer, God reveals to you his unique strategy for you. So, you have walked through scripture and you have seen that God has told you that you are to walk in breakthrough. But now, the Bible may not give you the nitty gritty of what to do in your unique situation prayer when you begin to pray the spirit of god begins to search the mind of god concerning your situation 
and the Bible says how that he searches all things and he prays according to the will of God. So you begin to pray and then the Lord tells you, okay, now this is the strategy. You are going to meet Benga. Benga will introduce you to Femi and Femi will introduce you to Prof. That's how the miracle will come. It is a strategy for only you. Somebody will do it and fail. Are you seeing why prayer is powerful? This is, this is, am I blessing you? In my opinion, I think this is already a miracle for somebody. I'm showing you the loopholes. Some of us have seen the promise. You have agreed with God. But the problem is the strategy. In ancient times, kings won war not on the strength of their army, but the dexterity of their strategy. Strategy, strategy, strategy. So Joshua stood still. And God began to give him the strategy. He said, Joshua, this is how we we'll throw this wall down. Walk around seven times. Did you ever see that repeated in the Bible? Because it was a strategy. Right? He told Gideon, take the people by the riverside and let them take water. Study the way they take water. You will use it as a separation. Strategy. Somebody has come tonight to receive strategy. Lord, how do I complete this house? You calculated your salary based on your salary to take 10 years. And God says, I can show you a strategy. The Bible says, then was the secret revealed unto Daniel. A wicked king slept in the night, dreamt and forgot it and was going to punish people for his forgetfulness. Right? And a man called Daniel. One of the greatest prayers that I've been praying in this season is Lord's strategy. It is all about strategy. I'm telling you. God will show you something that does not make sense. But it's his strategy for you. Everyone will do it and fail. But it's what you will do. And you will walk on. Hallelujah. So you look at that business and you are praying. And God will say, uh -uh, my strategy for you is take that business out of where you are. Take it to another place. Isaac already knew he had the blessing upon him. But he needed a strategy. Right? That's why every time kings would fight, they would go and inquire, what is the strategy for this war? They will not use yesterday's strategy for today's war. They will fail woefully. And so they will go, should I pursue? And the Lord will say, this is how it will happen. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat, put worshippers in front. Other times he said, walk around seven times. Other times he said, just be still. Get a stone and sit down and watch what I will do. Strategy. Question. The strategy you are using for your life now, who gave you? I saw another man do it, you see. He just went and started selling tomato. You see, it, it, God said he will bless you. But what drove you into it? I, I, a man must work. Don't stop those kind of demonic thinking. There must be a strategy. Oh Lord, change my story. I think I'll start selling shoes. Just like that. Just like that. The Bible says, as they began to pray, the Holy Ghost said, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. If they were to choose, they would have carried somebody else. Right now, when we begin to pray, I am convinced that God will begin to reveal strategies for people. Hmm. Strategies on how to make the rain work. Some of you, listen, students, there are students here that all you need is one strategy. There is a course. Everybody has told you this course. And you are face to face with that Goliath. You've been running away, but right, you are there now. You need a strategy. Hallelujah. There are some of you, maybe your project, a supervisor may be difficult, and God can give you a strategy. The strategy may not necessarily be a direct revelation from the Spirit. It can be light. A one scripture imprints in your spirit as you are praying. Oh God, what do I do about this, my supervisor? Suddenly a scripture comes. The gift of a man makes room. You quickly go and package wine. Not to bribe the man. You are responding to a strategy. Ordinarily, he would have thrown you out with your wine. But because you are doing it as a strategy. You will laugh and say, why did you have to do that? What is even your name? You have been disturbing me. It's a strategy. Hmm. Lord, give me strategy. You will see men do foolish things that don't make sense. That's what God told us. When, when we wanted to start giving access to our messages. I went to the Lord and the Lord told me, he said, make sure you do not sell any message. 
keep the videos give out the mp3s that's the strategy right you may do it for your ministry and you will lose a lot of money the blessing god has tied for your ministry you would but but it is a strategy it's a strategy when i said lord what is the key to the publicity and the increase and the expansion of this ministry in terms of membership god gave me a strategy it's not a secret mark one two three you may apply it and it may not work for you but that's what the lord gave and this is the mystery behind what you see i like you as you are seated before we stand up to pray in one minute speak to the lord what is the strategy lord my family has been struggling over this issue for years every time they want to build there is no money what is the strategy please take what i'm saying seriously one strategy can change your situation not just a strategy you read from a book one strategy there is an easier way of doing it that you have not seen it does not mean it's not there why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal in 24 hours by the strategy of the spirit he gave victory please pray god has shown you your destiny helper but he's not paying attention to you one strategy will answer the question pray god has shown you the business he wants you to do but as it is you try and try you need strategy it's not like you didn't hear god the ministry of prayer you have been reading and reading you did well in 100 level 200 level by 300 level you started moving back because you need to change strategy you need to go to his majesty to show you strategy 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 please pray for your ministry sister you don't need all the money you think you need what you need is a strategy from the spirit believe me you have tried every idea you know you have tried everything they have told you why don't you cry before god come on now pray koinonia reveal unto me the strategy my family is suffering there is witchcraft in my family they have vowed but my father will not listen what is the strategy for the deliverance of my family everybody in my family is an unbeliever but i've seen in visions and dreams that they will all be saved between the promise and the manifestation what is the strategy lord i've applied for job everywhere civil defense immigration everywhere what is the strategy hallelujah strategy the last thing i'll talk about when we stand up we're going to do a quick walk very very quick walk the last step towards the manifestation of a miracle is that you must take action take action i want everybody to listen to me carefully because god is about to speak to us in a very definite way now i hope you have been blessed so far take action there are two enemies of action that are found from scripture number one fear fear everybody say fear fear is a dangerous and wicked spirit there are multi-millionaires sitting listening to me now but fear has stopped them from taking action there are many families you would have finished building your house since not just a bungalow that will kill you there are people seated here if you took the step god told you last year you would have been feeding your family this year fear tonight i'm showing you all the things that there is work to do tonight are you getting my point everybody shout i reject fear oh fear does not respect age 
children fear adults fear great men fear macho men fear intelligent people fear right now africa is afraid nigeria is afraid many people are afraid the dollar is crashing everybody is afraid you don't know what to do right there's fear everywhere when the devil when god tells you get up and build the house this year that house must be built and all you have is hundred thousand and you calculate and you find out that the building will cost seven million and you are laughing you say god don't disgrace me let the people in the village not say i'm stupid take action listen the bible says this sign shall follow not go before you will never see the hand of god till you stand up and move this is somebody's this is a word from god to someone you have refused to move fear you wrote jam nine times you didn't get it god is saying this time you will get it say i'm not ready i better go to the restaurant and eat food with that money see that fear are we getting blessed let's look at two scriptures second timothy 1 verse 7 take it high please second timothy 1 verse 7 please help us media let's really hurry up we have to hurry up because we have some prayer to do are you seeing the things that are limiting us truly i am determined this year to see that every one of us has a testimony if nothing changes in your life this year then it's your fault but as far as the principles that will guarantee for you to experience the rain by the grace of God, I will do my best. For God had not given us the spirit of fear. Put your name there, just that first clause. One to read. One more time. Praise the Lord. There are many of our loved ones, 45 years brother are you ready to get out of your father's house i preached a message in 2008 it was a classic come out of your father's house thought provoking message to challenge people to leave their comfort zone there are some of us 30 35 40 who are still a big liability to our parents at home or god come out to say what i have now is twenty thousand. come out you have prayed you have fasted you have sown seeds you are giving look let me tell you if i am a father my, when my child gets to a certain age, one day, he will just come and say, young man, in the name of Jesus, I release the blessing upon you. Go out. Out. That's it. I'm, I'm very serious. See, you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone this year. It's not just to say it's the year of the rain. Stand up and take action. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Change, change what you have been doing. Kill fear. Take action and die doing it. Queen Esther, God took her to the palace. God removed Vashti and brought her for the salvation of Israel. But when Mordecai spoke to her, her man is plotting against these people. You better go and meet the king. She said, ah, please, oh, me too. He's, he's, he's bring, they brought me here. Please, I'm not ready to face any embarrassment. And Mordecai said, sit down there in fear. Paraphrasing sit down there when they finish with us the jews they will now say all of you in this palace bring your bio data and they will find out you are a jew too and they will kill you and she said if i perish i perish this is the year some of us are going to say if i i'm writing that jam again is god speaking to somebody i'm writing that jam again this is the year but I tried the business, I failed. You will do it again this year. Master, we have cast, he said, we have cast the net of, how do you put it now? Right? We have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, at thy word. I was going to get married. The best even did introduction. Later he called and he said, he's not doing it again. And now one godly brother is saying, I'm serious. He said, you look like that guy. Stand up and take action. Otherwise, you sit down and not get married all your life. In the name of Jesus, you will take action this year. Praise the Lord. There are some of us, God is speaking. Fear. Fear. Do you know fear puts people in bondage? More people die. There are many sicknesses today that are as a result of fear and worry. Is that true? What you are afraid of has not happened, but you are, you are almost dying. 
from today now people have started running out of Zaria for instance you can go if you want to go what I, <laughs> of course I'm not teaching you to be careless and just roam around you but, but oh, come on now people fear everything you are sleeping in the night you just light maybe it's the cloth you hung that just tilted in a way say I, I don't like the way this cloth why is it tilting and coming back who is there <laughs> fear fear has made people to say yes when they would have said no and they committed themselves into things you have no business committing yourself fear one of my friends father listen true story one of my friends father they would have been the earliest people to start pure water business in nigeria when god gave him that idea it was in a full gospel businessmen's fellowship right the idea came and he laughed thai water haba who will pay for water are we idiots there is stream there is sun there's light there's stove to warm water and he refused to take action and certain people took action do you think those who took the action are, are crying now this year you must take a handkerchief as you are crying be moving are you getting my point you must challenge that devil you have not broken through certain barriers nobody has ever crossed to the university in your family now you finish secondary school for instance and you're about to take that step and, and everybody said just you have tried you got diploma in, in, in software application are you not okay you are ahead yet every time you sleep you see a PhD and the devil is telling you, you cannot move tonight we have come to call that devil a liar in the name of Jesus Christ say I will take action say I will take action that's right the second thing that stops action is laziness everybody say laziness my goodness our time is gone laziness very important Proverbs chapter 10 verse 4 please Proverbs 10 verse 4 and then later on we'll look at Proverbs 22 verse 13 media please don't forget Proverbs 10 verse 4 there are some of us the demon that needs to fly out of our life today not jump out fly out and never return is that spirit of laziness that inertia to move forward some of us sheer laziness the bible says he become a poor that dealeth with what you never stay around me and you become lazy i have zero tolerance for lazy people a young man of 30 years by 11 30 12 is still snoring on the bed you will beg for bread for sure there is no amount of fasting that will change that if you don't change it there are many lazy people we like a wolf free things look let me tell you there is a place for diligence if you must see the rain fall upon you this year are we getting blessed he become a poor that deals with a slack hand but the hand of the diligent does what there are some of you you are experts at begging day and night you beg everybody right please bros i beg you get 5k let me next time sister sorry i'm just knowing you don't be embarrassed i need 2k you you degrade yourself because of this devilish attitude of laziness there are grasses in people's houses to go and weed there are things to do but you get up and believe you're a big boy big boy with nothing in your pocket you calm down don't try to look successful pay the price and be successful hallelujah are you getting blessed you must reject laziness there are some students you see how some students live you think you think that they are professors right 10 or 11 exams is in one week and you see the person just strolling with his boxers go and fetch a, 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 a bucket of water lazily he cannot even wait at the tap he will turn somebody else's water drag himself to the bathroom come out 30 minutes later huh dirty boxers dirty singlets you can't wash it laziness all around you can't get up and sweep your room and some of our sisters are like that 
Who do you want to marry? Tall, dark, and handsome. He must be a millionaire. You think God doesn't have sense? He said, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man sows. There are many people. See, look, let me tell you. Sometimes you may see me, you see some of the things we are doing, and you just don't be deceived by this, this ever water. If you want it, come and carry it. There is, there is more than this. Are you getting my point? First thing tomorrow morning, we are leaving for Katsina. It takes work. It's not just anointing. It takes diligence. Please, you need to talk to yourself and say, this year, the spirit of laziness, I curse you out of my life. Curse you out of my life. An assignment you can do now. You sit down and say, I will do it on Wednesday. You get zero. Right? Another assignment, you get zero. They just, they, they solve a question in class. They say, just copy it and get 10 marks. Say, I will do it later on. Look, procrastination, you must attack it this year. Hallelujah. You are working in the office of your boss because you think you come for koinonia and the person you are working for is here. It's no guarantee to be lazy. I will fire you. I employ you. You are not doing what I employ. In the name of Jesus, I will fire you. And you will come back and you will hear me preach. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is truly no food for a lazy man. Let me tell you the truth. You must get up and, and be serious about your destiny and work. There are some of us this year, you have no business with relationship. If you are passing and you see any beautiful lady, just say, blood of Jesus, and pass. Because this year is a year to you. Your own reign is coming to give you grace to stand up. No responsible parent will give her daughter to somebody who doesn't know where he's going. Are you hearing what I'm saying? very important but i believe that as we contend tonight in this miracle service it's going to be a very fast work for me i think this this is it happening to you if if we close right now i believe that you would have left with something many of us here belong to this category this laziness category right because social media facebook twitter has an and an bbm has massaged our life of laziness something you can get up and do you see a lot of people just to walk from one place to the other you are taking a bike huh? laziness it's not like you're in a hurry for anything you just load your phone and sit down in the afternoon you are not working you are not doing anything you're a liability to everybody around you and you are just you are you are sending yarrow boys as a student for instance to go and buy you mr biggs four five thousand they bring everything you lie down with phone that you force out of your father or mother and you are making calls in the daytime even a worker is not doing that you ping your life out and the person you are pinging is in the office making money you are there struggling the day you call him he stops responding to you please don't be a liability to anybody this year whoever has been ignoring you is because you are becoming a pest rise up and begin to be hard working and you'll become friends again are you hearing what i'm saying especially for the brothers brothers say amen. amen let me talk to you for one minute before we start praying this year please please something must change there are some people sir five years six years no job not because they they have never taken their cv anywhere say, but my uncle said it now that uncle said it's wicked You came to stay in your friend's house. When you stayed in his house, he was a student. He graduated, served, and is working. You are still staying in his house. He has gotten a job. You are still staying in his house. Whoever that friend is, drive that person out. After miracle service, tell him in the name of Jesus Christ, I appreciate you. Three years is enough time for you to sit down. Get Koinonia messages 2012, 13, 14. It will liberate you. Please, out of my house. Sometimes you need to push some people into their breakthrough over pampering destroys hallelujah over pampering destroys there are times you need to get up and challenge yourself they send you money in two weeks you're already calling again laziness you won't do anything 
you hear that there is scholarship free there are many graduates many graduates you win is out they won't apply i think it finished today they won't do anything you said god told you you'll be an entrepreneur huh? and you are not doing anything you've never gotten up to go for any seminar to build yourself you see a seminar you reject it you are not watching anything on youtube you are not going to sit and learn under people you are just sitting down bragging around with nonsense what a lot of young people are doing around huh? god blesses you with fifty thousand that can start something that can bless you you use it and buy a suit to prove a point to the people who are busy building their destinies they are not even seeing the point you must change this year in the name of jesus christ fear and laziness we are going to pray three serious prayer points the moment we pray these three prayer points tonight we'll start with the sick people we we'll start ministering to the sick people as soon as we pray the three prayer points please begin to write your prayer requests while we minister those outside can you shout hallelujah one more time shout hallelujah the lord will visit you in a mighty way in jesus name praise the lord rise up on your feet and let's pray success is not automatic there are laws there are laws this is our year of the rain god has spoken to us shown us the loopholes lift your hands and begin to thank god for this word tonight he that he loves he chastises bless his name bless his name lift your hands inside and outside bless the name of the lord thank you father for this word it has come to clean me up it has come to purify me it has come to challenge me hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord prayer point number one say after me in the name of jesus please say it like you believe it in the name of jesus I receive grace to align my mindset to that of the word of God. Every thinking pattern, every thought process that is not of God, I challenge you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, give me the mindset of victory. I'm tired of carrying ideologies some of us have ideologies about church we have ideologies about praying in tongues ideologies about the holy spirit ideologies about prosperity ideologies about miracles ideologies about responsibility about marriage that are antagonistic to the ways of god the first miracle tonight is to pray i submit my mentality i submit my thought pattern please pray pray from your heart i refuse to be limited there is still a place for champions in life there is still a place for the great but you can never rise above your thought pattern you can never rise above your ideology you may have held on to it for years it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to probe your ideologies it's time to re-examine your mindset let this mind be in me that was in christ jesus the mindset of victory i don't see defeat in my life i don't see defeat with god i am unlimited with god i am unbeatable with God, I am a champion. 
Pray, rejoice not over me, my enemies. For though I fall, yet I will rise again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to challenge that spirit of laziness. Are you getting my point? Fear and laziness. Let's combine it together. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I challenge every spirit of fear for God has not given me the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore i declare that fear is banished from my life i refuse to fear and i challenge laziness from today i receive the grace to be diligent no more laziness it's time to take action lift your voice and begin to pray time to take action 2015 time to take financial steps 2015 time to take spiritual steps 2015 time to take intellectual steps Go ahead and pray. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cause the spirit of fear, fear of death, fear of past failure, every intimidation. Inside and outside, pray, pray. I cause the spirit of fear. I cause the spirit of fear. I'm a champion. I can make it. I can break barriers. I can break barriers. I am well able. I am not weak. I am strong in the strength of the Lord. And I cause laziness. I cause laziness. Laziness to study the word. Spiritual laziness. Mental laziness. Physical laziness. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. As we pray this prayer point, my goodness, I already sense the power of God mighty way that's right as we pray this very prayer point the healing power of god will begin to move hallelujah i'm going to request those who are sick those who came specifically for healing you will find your way as hold on let's pray first before you come i'd like you to come believing that you will part with that sickness forever hallelujah the last prayer point say in the name of jesus Oh God, reveal to me the strategy for possessing my blessing. Reveal to me the strategy in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I cry. What is the strategy? What is the strategy? Come on, pray, Koinonia. I cry unto the spirit of wisdom. Show me the strategy for my prosperity. Show me the strategy for my blessing. Show me the strategy for my lifting. Show me the strategy to get the attention of my destiny helpers. Show me the strategy for the church growth. Show me the strategy for the expansion of my business. Show me the strategy for five points show me strategy for first class show me the strategy to pass the jump show me the strategy show me the strategy 
to unlock my marital destiny. Show me the strategy to unlock my marital destiny. Pray. Show me the strategy. Oh yes. The strategy is revealed in the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Make sure you are praying tonight. Show me the strategy to open me up to the next level of destiny. Show me the strategy. I'm tired of making mistakes. I'm tired of moving in circles. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. I'm tired of marking time. It's time to break forth. Hallelujah. Begin to pray now and say, God, visit me. We're going to do, the Holy Ghost will do a very quick walk. Very quick walk. Hallelujah. Those who are sick, I'd like you to come up and line up here. Very quickly. If you came here for the miracle service for healing, please come and line up ushers help them coordinate them let's have it very quickly while that is happening make sure you write your request there is a mystery of answered prayer in this house make sure please if you have not written your prayer request start writing it i don't care what the situation is i'd like you to write it and let's drop it before god You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh mighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, oh mighty God. You are worthy. hallelujah those of you in front i know you came here because of the testimonies you have had i want you to know that your situation will not be different are you hearing what i'm saying i want you to believe in the power of god there are certain conditions listen to me there are conditions in this place that are entirely demonic hallelujah it's going to be a fast one i don't know if we we'll have time to take testimonies or not but because there, I, I really, I really, really need to rush with time and let's do a lot. Please, if we end late today, I apologize in advance. We'll do our best to kill time. But please, wait because God has something to do in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise. It's called a miracle service. We thank you for the anointing of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Everybody, make sure you participate. Now, if, there, if you have loved ones who are sick, you can connect. You can tell them to connect. Praise the Lord. You don't need to come out for them, but you can call them or do whatever and tell them, look, connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Worship team, help us. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you all the praise. And we trust you to glorify the name of your son right now. In Jesus' name. Go ahead. Please. Who brought this lady? Who brought this lady? Who came with her, please? If you brought somebody, let's know. Please, we are not faking it here. What's, what's wrong with her legs? Who brought her? My dear, look at me. What's wrong with your leg? Huh? You what? There is a wound in my leg. My leg is swollen. Your leg is swollen. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing a charm. Look at me. What, what did you say? You sat in what? I woke up. So you woke up and you saw your leg. leg. It's not a wound. This is a charm. 
in the name of Jesus I break it I curse it look at me you've not been able to walk I can walk okay look at I me keep coming out look at me pause. it's coming out with pause I curse it look at me just look at me keep your legs just look at me don't look at your legs look at me look at me not don't look at the legs in the name of Jesus walk come just come. Don't look at me. Look at me. Come. Walk. Come on. Give Jesus praise. Look at what is happening. See, she's even surprised. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Can you climb up here? Climb by yourself. It's witchcraft. Don't be afraid. Help her if she needs any help. Okay, come. Move your legs. Just do what I'm doing. Move your legs. Move your legs. I cost that devil... In the name of Jesus Christ, I break that power of witchcraft right now. I release that. Come on now, Koinonia, give Jesus praise. God is healing people in this place. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that anyone that has orchestrated anything for you to fall into, in the name of Jesus Christ, this night, I command those powers to be broken in the name of Jesus. My dear, it never returns to you again and this veil that i see over you in the spirit i command that veil to go now in the name of jesus christ give god praise help us worship him please let's hurry You are the one who brought him. No, no, no. Talk, talk on his behalf. Let's save time, please. Okay. Our time. Say that I have been sick since 1980, 1998. 1998? Yes. Is he hearing what I'm saying? Yes, hearing okay. Again. Bless you, Daddy. Since 1998, what's yes. the sickness? Liver. Liver problem. Liver problem, sir. Sir, what, what are the symptoms? What happens to him? Okay, sir. The baby was swelling. Okay. Mm. I'm going to pray for you okay. right now. Mm. When I pray for you, that swelling will go down now. Now. And you'll be able to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. You are a spirit. Answer to the name of Jesus right now. I command the swollen stomach to go down right now. You see what is happening to you? In the name of Jesus, the heat sensation you're feeling is the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Heal right now. Sir, please come. Because the devil wants to use this and put stroke on you. Um, would you mind if, if I ask you to jump? Will you jump? Okay, just, just try it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Just lift it as high as you can. Look at me. Don't look at the legs. Go ahead, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's let's try. Just jump a little. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now walk, sir. Come. Just walk as fast as you can. As fast as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. You are healed completely in the name of Jesus Christ. As I stepped here, I saw this woman tied from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. Head to toe. And I'm seeing blood all over you. This is what the Lord is ministering to me. What's wrong with her? Um, suddenly, she just grows lean like this. Mommy, There's look no at me. Ache. You will not die. Hold my hands. Just hold my hands. Just hold it. Look at me. 
Just look at me. Thank you, Jesus. Now I cost this power. Kalabata Kotobaya. Let mama go now. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse that spirit. Let her go now. I lose you. What couldn't she do? Like Parkinson's disease. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. 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 Climb by yourself. Come. 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 Follow me. Just follow me, Mama. Look at this. Come on now, Koinonia. Give God praise. Can you lift your hands? See, she's laughing. Try to lift your hands, Mama. Can you lift your hands? Can you lift your hands? Is it which of the hands can she lift? Okay, go ahead. Lift, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Bring it down. Lift your hands. Come on, Koinonia. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift your legs. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit. Mama is released right now. Koinonia, give God praise. Let's celebrate what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that power. Come, I need to pray for you too. Your mother, right? I pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I'm seeing this thing. If I don't pray for you, it will affect you too. Right now, I cause, Lord, he's a worker in this house. Therefore, I cause that spirit. You are the sister. Lift your hands. If I don't pray for you, you have problem with marriage. You are young now, but we need to pray. This thing is the whole family thing. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. I release you from this act of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Salvation returns to this family. Go ahead and massage and let Hallelujah. Please, we are going to really, really be fast. As soon as we pray for you, just give room. Usher, start collecting the prayer request. If you have somebody's picture as I come, I may not be able to talk again. And so we'll just lay our hands. Believe God. Believe God that the situation will change in Jesus' name. My God is father careful although there is an iron in your leg in the name of jesus may there be a miracle i command this shorter leg to grow out now by the spirit of god madam look at me do you want to try walking uh -uh. i'm not asking you, what you, you came here because you believe god can help you is that true you believe that 
Okay, as careful as you can, move your legs. You're, you're related to her? Come. Who are you? Your sister, madam? All right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Please. Come, madam. Do you feel pain? You feel pain because of the iron. It's difficult now for us to... But after I pray for you, can you talk to the doctors to look at your legs and look at the iron? They'll be coming on Wednesday. Okay, fine. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree that as they come on Wednesday and check this leg, they will remove this iron and she will walk normally. Look at, look at this. Look at what the power of God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her have a seat. Please quickly, let's, let's save time. Worship team, help us. Let's not have... They will remove the iron, madam, and you will walk normally. In the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you. Yes, I need to pray for you, madam. Because as I'm looking at you, I'm seeing pains. I'm seeing pains. Um, like abdominal pains. And the Lord is asking me to minister to you. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. Jesus, do a miracle right now. I cause that pain by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please just line them forward. Let them just come forward in the name of Jesus. I don't need to ask you what the situation is. I really want you to believe that. Praise the Lord. I, I don't want you to think that maybe if I don't ask you, it means I don't give value to you. No. It's not even me doing the miracle. Right? It's the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Such an awesome God Such an awesome God Hallelujah Please rise up everybody Rise up everybody Shiva la 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 We're going to cause every wicked power Please listen Hallelujah Look at me. I told us that one of the benefits and the blessings of prayer is the ability to cause limiting powers. It's called a miracle service. And this is January. Hallelujah. We believe in the full gospel and everything Jesus died to give. Listen, every power that has tied anyone's destiny down, it's time for it to go. Are you listening to me? Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Go ahead and pray and say, Father, every spirit that is not of God looming around my life and my family, please make sure you are praying that as the word of God comes now, there will be mighty, mighty deliverance. Lord, let there be deliverances. Break limitations over people's lives. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 The reason why the reason why we do deliverance is not is not working against the fact that Jesus says we are this and that and that it is on the strength of that the Bible says although he has put all things under his feet he said we do not yet know I hear a lot of people criticize the ministry of deliverance and all of that um, while I know that there are exaggerations here and there let me tell you something the people of God must be subjected to the full weight of all that God's power and anointing can do. are you following me now there are people who have struggled here. You love God, but doors will just not open. Let me tell you, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I'm going to minister to people right now. I see an angel of the Lord moving, and a lady is going to shout. I don't know why God does these things. Under the anointing. When that happens... It's a sign that the Spirit of God is ready to move and deliver people. Lift your hands. Hear me, brothers and sisters. It takes the power of God to subdue principalities. And there are some of you right now, both for you and your family, there are forces that will not let you go. But this night, and right now, 
my goodness there is the fire of the spirit at the count of three it's not just a recitation you're going to shout that name the name that paid access for your liberty bring up bring them out my goodness deliverance is already happening inside and outside there will be mighty angels there is the sword of the spirit lord let there be deliverance every family every destiny tied under any yoke of bondage i invoke it in the spirit that at the count of three those devils are under fire one two three come out now i command powers be gone now i cause principalities i cause spirits i cause powers inside outside the angel of the lord is moving i command witchcraft bring them out spirits of ancestry in the name of jesus the powers that have tied down man's destinies the forces that have refused to let you go right now i come with an apostolic anointing and in the name that is above all names let fire fall from heaven over your life over your academics over your marriage through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves lift your hands was he shouting one more time please bring them listen for some of you what will happen right now is not just for you alone but for your family just keep them down there hallelujah Malakata. and I see this affecting many ladies because I see marriage is being tied Makoto Tobakata Sheketelekaya as you shout that name Jesus you may not even know that that thing is in your family but all of a sudden physical fire physical fire will begin to burn right now on the count of three I challenge those powers one two three Go, 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 go. I cause that spirit. Delay, delay. I cause that spirit inside and outside. I command that devil of delay to go now. I command that power tying your destiny i command that power tying your breakthrough i command that power tying your family the price has been paid by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i break every legal access by the blood of jesus i release marriages i release miracles i command breakthrough fire is burning i command breakthrough i set those altars on fire i set those covens on fire hallelujah lift your hands where are those who have been oppressed academically lord where are they there are people who would have moved forward as i speak right now fire is coming on people fire is coming release the academics now release the academics now release the academics now 2015 the year of the rain release the academics now 
I command those powers. I challenge them. They must see why. There is a family the Lord is showing me. You have been under stagnation for 10 years. 10 solid years. But as I prophesy right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. I command that family to be released now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name that is above all names, I pray and I prophesy. The Lord is showing me men whose hands have been tied. And, and see, when your hands are tied, it means the capacity for favor and the capacity to move forward is not there. Lift your hands. Some of you will feel physical fire. Physical fire on your hands. There are chains burning. Lord, where are they? Let the sword of favor break them free from every oppression. Right now as I speak, anyone whose hands are tied in the spirit, I command those hands to be loose now. I command those hands to be loose now. The fire is falling, falling, falling inside and outside, falling. I break the chain. My goodness, there are angels outside. The fire is falling. Chains of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one minute, lift up the exact situation you want God to change. Begin to talk to him. Go ahead before prophecy comes. Please don't keep quiet. No matter how impossible it is, there is an anointing. Inside and outside, make sure you are talking to the Lord. This and that and that are my requests. Do a miracle. Some of you need a 24 hour miracle. Now all those here in front, in the name of Jesus and by the fire of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, not only will those devils leave, they must release your family members. I speak to every spirit. You know my voice. I represent the embassy of heaven. And in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will leave now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Never to return. Go. Go. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this request. Your requests are there. Please, in case you've not dropped yours, locate it quickly to the ushers. It's not a ritual. There is a mystery of answered prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says how that Ezekiah took the request before God. The threats may be joblessness. It may be impossible situations. As I kneel upon this request and we pray together, just for one or two minutes, see, I assure you, I assure you, you will return with a testimony. Except you refuse to come and testify. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'd like you to receive every prophetic word. Every prophetic word. I don't care whatever it is that you came here with. Remember last week we taught that words activate spiritual laws. Hallelujah. I want you to receive. For some of you, there will be an instant performance in the name of Jesus. I want to start by praying for families. Every family that has been in a state of stagnation, please lift your hands inside and outside. I'm prophesying now. Every family represented in this place in the name of Jesus Christ in this year of the rain, I command that between now and next month's miracle service, let there be dramatic breakthroughs. Let there be dramatic breakthroughs. Let there be dramatic breakthroughs. By the agency of the Spirit, we activate every law that needs to be in motion in the name of Jesus. The laws of favor, the laws of destiny help us in the name of Jesus. I pray anyone here who has been under any academic bondage from secondary school to master's PhD right now in this year of the rain, I command speed for you. I declare move forward now move forward now make progress now move forward now in the name of Jesus I pray for anything that has died in your hands business the works of your hands relationships in the name that is above all names let resurrection happen in your life now please believe what i'm saying believe what i'm saying god is changing people's situations this is how god changes situations by the power of his prophetic word i say it again whatever has died i speak to that which was dead come back to life now I command every blood condition whoever is standing here and you are SS right now we change that genotype to AA in the name of Jesus Christ I cause hepatitis be crushed to the root in the name of Jesus we cause HIV you leave God's people in the name of Jesus. Everyone here who has been oppressed by spirits, you sleep in the night and they oppress you. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost bring deliverance to you now. Ay, ay, ay. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit bring deliverance to you now. There are people here. It works for others until it gets to your turn. Then it fails. Right now in the name of Jesus. I command that the last time that tragedy happened in your life. The power of God is moving on this word. Moving strong on this word. The last time it happened the mystery behind that tragedy I cause it in the name of Jesus I declare that in this January between now and next month's miracle service what you could not do in the whole of 2014 may my God empower your hand to do it in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every dying CGPA here. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
I command it to come alive. There are people here, students, your true status is first class. But something has tied you down. Your true status is four points. But something has tied, whatever that something is, I lift it off your life now. In this year, 2015, go back to your departments and break barriers. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every business here. Whatever has stopped it from working, in the name of Jesus, we command it to come alive now. Whoever needs to come into your life between now and next miracle service and open a door for you, I call them forth now. I call them forth now. I declare whoever is jobless and looking for a job here or your family members in the name that is above all names where they said there are no jobs we create jobs now believe it believe it we create jobs now in the name of jesus christ whoever has been assigned by my father to favor you and has refused to respond to you in the name of jesus may the lord compel them to respond in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life whatever has robbed you of an effective prayer life every worry everything that has robbed you i command fresh impartation of prayer grace receive it now fresh impartation of prayer fire whatever makes you study the bible and you don't understand may the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now and i pray for you every habit in your life masturbation pornography and any other thing that is not of god that has robbed you of your christian integrity you love God but you find things pushing you that embarrass you right now I agree with you be delivered now I agree with you be delivered now hallelujah whoever is being eyed for death in this place that the devil has vowed that you will not see February miracle service I'm praying by the mystery of the blood i open that door of gate of, of death and i command in the name of jesus that your soul is ransomed from the gates of death in the forthcoming election you are preserved in the name of jesus whoever comes to destroy you will die before he gets to you in the name of jesus as you travel on the road you are preserved you cannot be a victim of accident in the name of Jesus I establish the covenant of peace upon your life you are protected by the angels of heaven I declare right now that in 2015 living from hand to mouth that spirit of begging living from hand to mouth by the mystery of divine supply i bail you out of that wicked situation in the name of jesus i pray for you whatever you wrote here as a request right now i agree with you that it is turned into a testimony i say it one more time whatever you wrote here as a request I agree with you we turn it into a testimony by the power that turned the rod of Moses into a serpent and back into a rod I turn what was here as a as a prayer request by the power of the Holy Ghost let it become a testimony in your hands in the name of Jesus every factor that must be in place 
for you to stand here and testify i release it in the name of jesus i pray we pray for our lecturers every lecturer that has been victimized and any lecturer that the devil is eyeing to bury this year in the name of jesus by the mystery of the blood they are preserved i'm speaking any position that belongs to any god-fearing lecturer that is being truncated by powers of darkness we stand as the parliament of heaven in this city and we enforce compliance in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you if there is one thing that should happen in your life let it be indescribable favor 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 i prophesy from the depths of my heart if you have never seen favor happen in your life you will see favor that will make you cry financial favor marital favor academic favor spiritual favor receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord thank you jesus hallelujah now you're here you've never given your heart to the lord jesus you've never made him lord of your life we're out of time please keep standing everybody let's honor these people you are here and you have never given your life to christ remember we said the basis for your victory is what jesus christ has done wherever you are or you have once given your life to christ but for some reason you found your life going haywire and you need to make your ways right don't say time is gone please wherever you are inside or outside you might be a new student you've been a christian all your life or you may be new in this town i pray right now that you respond to the call of god wherever you are you are returning to jesus or you are making decisions for the first time please make your way to the front be bold about it be bold about it i know god is talking to somebody don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person find your way to the front god bless you god bless you please make sure you celebrate them as they come celebrate them god bless you those outside no matter how far you are make your way to the front jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father if you deny me before men young and old make your way you are not too far don't let the devil say you are far make your way run to the front run to the front forget about your neighbor or who you came with it's a personal affair tonight hallelujah thank you so much for coming lift your hands as i leave you to pray say after me jesus i believe in you i believe you died for me tonight i repent of my sins i obtain forgiveness and cleansing wash me with the blood of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that i'm a changed person the power of sin is broken over my life and i'll never be the same in the name of jesus now keep your hands lifted father thank you you brought these ones to your throne may their decisions be genuine preserve them by the power of the holy spirit they will never be the same i break the power of sin over your life you have eternal life into your spirit and i declare that you're of the family of faith in the name of jesus christ amen and amen now i'd like you to follow the ushers follow the gentlemen waving their hands dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline 